Which case are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Lian Li Lancool 215 Best under $100 Lian Li's Landcool 215 should be on your shortlist as long as your storage needs don't go beyond one 3.5-inch hard drive. It's a good budget case to house your first build or a simple gaming system. The bling is appreciated as the two 200mm fans are ARGB and they connect to their own hub at the back of the case. There's also the Lian Li logo at the bottom that's also illuminated as part of the whole system. You can cycle the lighting between the different colors via the LED button on the top I.O. As you can see by now, this case is budget-oriented and the experience is pretty bare-bones, especially when it comes to cable management. It's a good thing that we have the hub included so you don't have to run the fans into your motherboard. This case is a clear example of product segmentation because the Landcool 215 is in its own budget class with a feature set that doesn't infringe upon the features of the Landcool 2 mesh, which is a higher-end case. In terms of building and handling, the enclosure just never felt very good. It feels like a cheap enclosure and that's exactly what you get. Having said that, if you dig the big fans, the cool temperatures and the RGB lighting, then maybe it's worth a closer look. Number 4. Fractal Design Meshify C – Best Compact Case Fractal's naming system is getting a little cluttered. The Meshify C is 100% a defined CTG with an angular, stealth-inspired front panel that looks like black diamond facets, according to Fractal. It's a cool look, and it breaks away from the current trend of plain flat front panels in a way that's reminiscent of the Corsair Spec 04. The solid front panel used in previous designs reflected some internal component noise back into the case, so your new build might be a little noisier. Yet, we're no longer forcing the intake fans to draw air through thin slots on the sides of the front panel, so your new build might also be a little cooler. Front panel connections at the top include just two USB 3.0 headers, headphone and microphone jacks, along with power and reset buttons. The mesh top panel cover behind it is affixed via magnetic strips. The Meshify C includes separate screw packs for the motherboard and drives, cable ties, standoffs, a Philips head adapter socket to help builders install the standoffs, documentation and a cleaning cloth. The Define C, for example, doesn't have a tempered glass side panel, so buyers trying to decide between the S340 Elite and Meshify C probably aren't even considering the elder product. If you want one of the most premium-looking and performing PC cases, you should definitely check this one out. Number 3. Corsair 5000D – Best Airflow Corsair is back with a new chassis. This time, the 5000D is being put to the test. It's a spacious, innovative chassis with lots of features, hiding options, and clearances for your liquid-cooling nirvana. And sure, it's quite the looker as well. Cooling inside the 5000D airflow can be done through a section at the front of the case, with room for three 120mm or two 140mm fans, and one 120mm fan is placed in this area. The second option is the top of the chassis, which is identical to the front, but no fan is placed there from Corsair. There is a third option for fan or radiator placement, which is found to the right of the motherboard tray, but is designed to hold only 120mm fans, up to three of them. The PSU rests on the four raised bits of steel with foam pads on them, and one of our pads isn't installed properly. It's roomy enough for our PSU, but you may need to bin the HDD caddy with the optional front cover. Also, as to the hinge business, they are fluted two-thirds of the way up and would be a perfect place to cut one of the two to make panel insulation easier. Most likely, the best thing about the 5000D is that at around £30 empty, it's a sturdy, solid box to house your goodies. Number 2. Fantex Eclipse P400A – Best Runner-Up Fantex has an ever-increasing portfolio in the division of PC cooling. Their journey began with the renowned PHTC14PE CPU cooler and has expanded into the design and manufacture of some of the most popular computer cases to grace the market. Overall roof space and the removable radiator bracket was removed. The front panel was now a thick, solid unit with ventilation only located top and bottom. The paint job was far more basic and the aluminium panels absent entirely compared to that of the Fantex Evolve. With the P300 and P350X aimed at the budget end of the market, the more premium P400S appealing to those looking for the original Eclipse with sound dampening and a fan controller, and of course the latest P600S being a complete redesign of the styling and featuring the new Evolve X internal frame and layout. The P400A comes in two main variants, each with two separate color SKUs. 
There's plenty of cable management grommets and holes located in all the key places for all of your cables and support straight out of the gate for two 2.5-inch drives and two 3.5-inch drives. Unlike the Evolve, and despite its name, the Eclipse P400A actually supports less cooling than we'd like it to. The airflow improvements are certainly there, you'll have no worry when it comes to that front intake performance anymore, and it looks better too than the original Fantex Eclipse P400. Number 1. Lian Li Lancool 2 Mesh Performance – Best Overall Lian Li's Lancool 2 Mesh Performance is a superbly easy-to-use chassis that's practical, performs as it should, and doesn't cost a fortune. We would certainly shortlist this one. Right out of the box, the Lancool 2 mesh performance makes an excellent impression in regards to material mix. While the market in general has really embraced the drive to utilize less plastic, the Lancool 2 mesh performance comes with two fairly thick glass panels and an all-steel exterior. While the original Lancool 2 had a fairly restrictive front, the mesh variant comes with a beautiful mesh punched right into the cover itself. Noise normalized, the CPU averaged 50 degrees Celsius above ambient in this test, certainly an increase over the 45 degree baseline average, but an acceptable one given how much the noise level dropped. This ties the P500A for best noise normalized CPU temperature thus far. As far as we're concerned, the Lian Li Lancool 2 mesh is a straight upgrade from the original model. The original differentiates itself with ARGB lighting, but the mesh has far better thermal performance, retains all other features of the original, and adds a fan controller as a bonus. All in all, it's definitely one of the best PC cases in the market. Buying Guide Aesthetics Make sure you like the look of the PC case you're buying. You're going to be staring at it for years to come, so this is not a superficial consideration. Every online retailer shows PC cases from multiple angles on their store pages, so there's no excuse for buying ugly. PC cases come with all sorts of colors, materials, and designs. PSU There are cases out there that ship together with a power supply unit, but while it may be tempting to get one such case and save a few bucks on a power supply, it may not be a good idea. The PSU is one of the essential components of any PC, and if you're investing any serious amount of money in a gaming setup, you'll want to make sure that you've got an adequate power supply. Size Before anything else, you should decide what size case you need. As you may know, there are three major case sizes, Full Tower, Mid Tower, and Mini ITX. The Mid Tower and the Full Tower cases both fit standard ATX motherboards, but they can also fit smaller micro ATX motherboards. The full tower cases are massive, and I'd recommend these if you plan on loading up your rig with extensive water cooling, three- and four-way graphics card setups, or storage galore. On the other hand, the Mini ITX cases are built for diminutive Mini ITX motherboards.